Uh-huh. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to open this wine. Oh, right, okay. What are you doing? Uh, I'm actually testing out my new camera. Oh, really? Ah, oh, come on. Hey, listen, I yeah. just got invited to this party on Facebook. That's nice. And I don't know what to bring, but I have to bring something, yeah? Yeah, I would, well, I tell you what, why don't you just get a bottle of wine? Wine. Hmm. You know what you need to do? Wine jam assemble! Are you okay? Let's do it. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we have Bitney Cheers. Hi! Some cash. Hello. And Crafty Lossa. All right, so uh, as you saw before, this is about um, wines for when you have to take to a party because I've got this a lot when I've been working in the wine industry as such. Somebody comes in, they go, I need to get a wine for a friend of mine. I don't know what to get. I've broken it down very simply. The cheap and simple one, which is maybe looking, making you look cheap. We've got the rocky choice, which is a slightly more money. Is it worth it? Is it not? That's why it's a little bit rocky. And we have the bold and the beautiful, which is slightly more expensive with a slightly more exaggerated label on it. All right, so we're on to the Yellowtail Australian comes from the Riverina. It's a Chardonnay. Yeah, it's pretty basic um, as far as my opinion's concerned, but I shouldn't complain, I did actually work for them in the winery. Yeah. I did actually do some hard work once. Ooh, apricots, love it. Yeah. Peaches, bit of cream. Uh, maybe not. Bit of egg. Yeah. Quite a lot of egg. Smells like wet wine. <laughs> Stone <Yeah>. fruits. <laughs> Mm. Slight sweetness to that. I think it's more of the fruit that mm. comes through. I'm actually getting peachy notes uh, this time around on so, this one. I think quite fruity, almost summertime vibes. Yeah. Summer party. Look at this. That's what I think of. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. As far as food is concerned, I was thinking like fruit kebabs and. Fruit kebabs? Yeah. Does that exist? Do you know? Have... Like how you just. Poke all the Pineapple, different fruit on a stick apple. and a barbecue. See, you grew up in London, you don't know these things. In the sunshine. <laughs> so, what, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about here. So, what, what happens? Does it get like all black like, You don't cook it. No, you oh. just poke it on there and it's fun. Okay. <laughs> it's and beautiful. It's like pork. <laughs> uh, no, fruit. So I'm thinking fruit. So let's fruit. get back to the point. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, for your friends. For my friends, yeah. I think their personality suits this. They would drink, it's a bit more fun. Gallons of it. Yeah. Possibly, not naming any names. But it's not something you go classy like we. Uh, it may not be the classiest out of the three, but. Yeah. I don't know. Midday drink, I think it'd be very good. Yeah. A midday barbecue party. Pug <laughs> got a party. <laughs> All right, so for our lovely rocky choice here is a Priorat wine. Um, Priorat comes from the south of Barcelona in Spain. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon, a Syrah and a Grenache. It's a Caragnan as well, so it's four different grapes basically. Okay, all your words meant nothing to me. But this is lovely. Those, but of it. Those grapes you just said, it reminds me of like the south of France, um, yep. Southern Rome. Rome. That's correct, yeah, spot on. Like a Chateauneuf de Pap. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's stalking of the fires in this one. <laughs> this is the kind of wine I'm already smelling. It's like Bram Stokes Dracula wine. Mm. I want to suck your blood. Very strong, very thick. I don't even know what that blood smell like. is. Blood <laughs> like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Stop, that's weird. <laughs> I like that, that is really growing on me. Kind of that cider, rich, sort of fruity, dark berries there. Uh, for friends. It's more of a punch. Yeah, I, for more of a punch. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you put it in, in a punch. Yeah, I think that's what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, friends wise, now. for a party, um, I think guys would love this. Yeah. This is more like a poker party. That's, that's what this is. I don't know what it tastes like. It's a bit sweet, it's a bit sour, it's a bit. <sighs> In your mouth, a bit poisonous. Like some of the dates you've been on. <laughs> <laughs> Verdict on this one. I like the, the grape variety. I think that's really interesting. 
but I'm not really, it's not really for me. So. I'm loving this one now. Just towards the end, it was really juicy. It had lots mm. of light like, flavours going on there. And for you? I think it's got lots of different flavours, so... Maybe. I don't know, I can't... It's on the maybe section. Yes, maybe. We have here the Voss, which is our more expensive wine for the party as such. Uh, Voss is from uh, New Zealand in Martinborough. It's mm -hmm. a Pinot Noir, so it's a lighter wine overall. Um, it's quite more harder to grow in general for, uh, for grapes as such. Um, what you're going to find here is an unusual nose. Bin juices, like when your bag gets a hole in it and the juice leaks out. Bin juices? Bin juices. Oh, bin juices. Mm. Right. No, it's like garbage. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's not nice. It's just not. Don't what don't I buy this. Right. <laughs> okay, cheers. No. Mm, what? Oh, okay. Cheers. cheers. Mm. Mm. That is beautiful. It doesn't taste like garbage. It's really red berries, red fruits. Um, quite light in consistency, uh, sharp acidity overall, like Martin Burrow is overall. It's quite kind of. It's not too dry. It doesn't have an overpowering acidic taste. I'm just going to say something about this. And um, there's a bit of lychee, which you generally get with, with white wine, but I'm definitely getting a bit of that. That's interesting. I don't taste yeah. that at all. I would probably be a bit disappointed for 20 quid. I don't love it. I would I would think of it as a more classy audience, but... Yeah, I agree with that. Again, a small glass would be sufficient. What about yourself? Oh, it's really, really moorish. Uh, I think it's definitely something that you take to quite a classy dinner party. Yeah. I think this is this will go down really well. And, uh, I think it goes very, really well with barbecues, so... Okay. Mm. It's a yes from me. Okay, so we made our decisions and yep. we're going with... I think the white's my favourite, but it was close. This one was also pretty nice. Yeah. I would go with something like that because I think my friends would enjoy it more. Okay. To be honest. And your friend, and you like you're talking about like going to a party, like it's a house thinking, party, or yeah, house party. But summer, I'm thinking. Okay. Light clothing and fruit kebabs. And fruit kebabs. <laughs> it's a new one for me. With me, I've got to go with the pinot noir. I thought that was uh, really quite amazing. Uh, it's got lot. It's got that real. Uh, burgundy kind of nose on that with that wet leaves, forest floor stuff. Mm -hmm. I think uh, flavor-wise, Ray, it's got great density of depth and flavor. For friends, yeah, I I know I always think Pinot Noir is great with just everybody, and although it's a slightly more expensive wine, I think it's a good talking point at some times. They're like, what is this? What, where does it come from? You know, and so if somebody knows something about wine, they usually go Pinot Noir is is usually from Burgundy. So I think it's a good talking point wine. I'm going to have to go with you, actually. The Burgundy style Pinot Noir um, oh. is really... <laughs> she ain't happy. Lost. Oh, she ain't happy. Uh, yeah, go um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it was my favourite. I wanted this one to be my favourite because it's the, because of the combination of different grapes. It was really interesting, but it just wasn't doing anything for me. And I think this one's great for barbecue. So, yeah, I, they all three have a purpose, but I was a little bit disappointed with the Spanish one. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you for watching Wine yeah. Gems yeah. and stay tuned. And yeah. subscribe, please subscribe. 